Hi, thanks for joining us on the Asset Management Quarterly. I'm Madison Sargis, and I'm a part of Morningstar's quantitative research team. Today, I have with me Lee Davidson, who's head of the department. And we're excited to talk a little bit about how Morningstar is moving from being a data aggregator and into creating actual insights and tools to help asset managers stay relevant in today's market conditions. Thank you for having me here. Um, so as you know, you and I, we've been out talking to a lot of different asset managers about some of the challenges they've been facing, some of the problems that they're having. And you know, we've seen uh, with the rise of passive and more generally just the proliferation of low cost solutions in the marketplace, that uh, competition is becoming stiffer, uh, more intense, and uh, you know the investor, the client base, is becoming more discerning, more demanding in the type of information they need to make decisions. Uh, so, you know, the asset manager is being increasingly challenged to to tell their story about why their products are are more differentiated, or better, or more suitable uh, for these clients and, and advisors. So, how is Morningstar responding? Well, I think one of the things that we've seen as we've been talking to asset managers is they're actually responding themselves to, and they're looking uh, to increasingly hire more data scientists, quantitative researchers, or other analysts to look at these questions um, and to try to help them tell that story themselves. Kind of along a parallel track, we've uh, Morningstar has uh, built up a quantitative research team. So I was the first analyst hired um, into Morningstar's quant team four years ago. We've grown the team now. Or over 40 people and we've kind of had a focus on building out a lot of analytics uh, to look at risk, um, to look at uh, scenario analysis tools, risk decomposition, performance attribution, quantitative ratings, all with the idea of helping asset managers kind of uh, give them the, the tools they need, the information they need to tell their story about their products. So some of those tools I talked about, the risk model, the quant ratings, those really um, pertain to performance and risk. But right. for asset managers, the other big question is flows. Right, exactly. So, you know, the last three years or so, we've been doing a lot of research in this area. You know, you've written several papers um, on this topic, and it's becoming, you know, I think a very interesting thing. When we think about risk models or those types of solutions, they've been around for quite a while. They just haven't really been uh, marketed or sold into the asset management community and the product marketing or the product developers in particular, wholesalers. Yeah, I think what's also interesting is that some of those relationships that you talk about with drive flows is you can find very similar relationships when looking at new funds. Why does an investor decide to invest in a new fund? And similarly, when you're looking at funds that are going to become obsolete, you know, they send up clear signals um, that indicate, you know, that maybe uh, this fund is going to close in the near future. And so moving on just beyond flows of mature funds, you know, we've kind of rounded out this life cycle of identifying how flows, you know, move in the industry at all stages of a fund's life cycle. That's right. There's kind of like three big questions, right? Like what funds are going to do good? What funds should I launch or create? Or of the funds I just created, what's going to do the best? And then amongst my competitor set, which funds are doing most poorly and the worst and where maybe assets are going to get shaken loose and I can go capitalize on that. But there's not really a solution out there for looking at flows or doing predictive flow analytics or doing the same types of things you do on risk and performance but on flows. And so we've been looking at uh, a lot of different options for that. Yeah, one of the um, new tools that I think is really emblematic of this is what we call a SWOT analysis in the asset management dashboard. And so marketers, uh, salespeople can go in and look and see you know, what the fund's uh, realized flows are and then, you know, what the fund's flows are moving forward. Similarly, um, you can see sort of what funds are, you know, likely not going to do well in the future and so maybe you should shift your attention. And so that SWOT analysis, I think, would be really useful and a tool for um, asset managers. Yeah, I agree. The SWOT analysis is super insightful and so, you know, that's one of the components that's on the business intelligence dashboard uh, that we've been talking a lot about today. Uh, you can demo it, visit the beta site uh, at the link below in the video. Sounds great. Thanks for joining us on the Asset Management Quarterly. Um, and if you have any questions about the Quant Team's research or, or the tools that we're talking about, uh, please feel free to reach out to your Morningstar representative.